Football is the beautiful game, but when players lose it and snap out of control, everything gets mad. These are the 10 disrespectful moments in football. And first up, Zlatan Ibrahimovic and Romelu Lukaku fought dirty over family. 2020, and it was Inter Milan versus AC Milan in the Milan Derby. Zlatan was repping AC Milan, while Lukaku was repping Inter. And despite it being a derby, the game was going well and smooth. Until minutes before halftime, it snapped out of control. For Zlatan and Lukaku, the game was already on the edge. They used to be teammates at Manchester United, and both competed for the main striking spot in the team. I'm guessing that rivalry just never died, especially in Zlatan's mind, because right after the ref hit the whistle for a foul, Zlatan took the chance to trigger Lukaku. No way! He legit made reference to Lukaku's mom! See, in the context, there was a rumor in 2017 that Lukaku's mom used to do dark magic for Lukaku to succeed, and Lukaku didn't like that. So now Zlatan brought it up, it got him really pissed. And in response, he threatened to fight Zlatan in the tunnel. In the end, Lukaku decided to do his fight hard. Some ballers would do anything for family, even if it means risking the biggest match of their lives just to earn respect. The 2006 World Cup Final, France versus Italy, and the game was heated. For Zinedine Zidane, this one meant even more because he'd announced months back that this was going to be his last season as a pro, and he'd gotten the perfect way to end his career by playing in the World Cup Final. The game ended 1-1, with Zidane's early Panenka canceled out by Luca Toni's goal. But just before the match went into penalties, a moment of madness happened. Marco Materazzi had been detailing Zidane all game, and at one point, Zidane was fed up, so he turned to him and told him if he wanted his shirt that bad, he'd give it to him after the match. But Materazzi's response changed everything. He called out Zizou's sister, and Zidane lost it. A headbutt Dominic Toretto would be proud of. Now, I can get why Zizou got mad at Materazzi and went hard on him, but Suarez dissing Evra in front of the whole world? That was just plain dumb. Get this, guys. Liverpool versus Manchester United in the Premier League, and Suarez and Evra were the main attraction. The two of them had already gotten into a bust-up before the game, and just when I thought it was over, the news came out. See, Evra had accused Suarez of using slur words on him, and in return, Suarez said it was a translation error and denied it. Suarez later got fined 50k and banned for 8 matches, and I guess he just never forgave Evra for making him pay that much money. Because the next time they met months later, Suarez still held his grudge. Damn, that's childish. Still, Ever ended up on the winning team and showed Suarez that he could play the game too. If I'm being honest, Suarez is the ultimate version of a shithouse. And it's not just him too. There's a full list of ballers who've gone shithouse. But Kylian Mbappé? He did it on football's biggest stage. The 2018 World Cup quarterfinals, France versus Uruguay, and Mbappé was making the headlines. Apart from his incredible tricks and skills, Mbappé was pissing off the Uruguayan players. But when they got really mad was when he switched into dolphin mode mid-game. What the heck was that dive? Uruguay's captain, Diego Godin, felt so insulted, he wanted Mbappé up ASAP. Going down like that and trying to milk a foul? That's disrespectful to the game. But I don't think I've seen anything as bad as the time Ross Barkley pulled off the most disgusting celebration I've ever seen. Everton was facing Bournemouth in the league, and the game was chaotic. Coming into stoppage time, the score was 5-3, and the Bournemouth players still felt they could salvage something out of the game. So they went on a final attack into the Everton half but it backfired because they got caught on the counter. And once Ross Barkley got through on goal, you just knew he was going to score. And so did he. Probably why he decided to celebrate like this. Can't even lie, if he celebrated against my team like this before scoring, we'd be settling this one in the parking lot. At least he wasn't spitting in people's faces like Douglas Costa. 
So here's the deal. In 2019, Douglas Costa was playing for Juventus when they faced Sassuolo in a league match, and Douglas Costa was about to make this one a whole load of controversial. See, he got involved in a heated argument with Federico Di Francesco, and unlike normal arguments that usually get sorted out seconds after, Costa probably felt Francesco had insulted his pride, and he couldn't swallow that, so my man spit it out instead. What the heck? Gotta watch this one again. He spat in Di Francesco's face! The Italian FA got involved, and they banned Costa for four games as a result. Pretty sure Costa's going to think twice before he starts spitting in people's faces again. What a guy! There are simply some people in the game you just don't mess with. Costa's lucky he didn't piss off someone like Mourinho, because if he did, Jose would tell it to his face! 2019 Chelsea vs Manchester United in the Premier League, and for Jose, it was his homecoming. See, Mourinho had been Chelsea's manager in the past on two separate occasions, and he won the league three times. So coming back to the bridge as the opposing manager, a lot of eyes were on him to see if he could pull off a result, and he almost did. Seconds led to the end of the game, and Chelsea somehow managed to find a dramatic equalizer through Ross Barkley that sparked some crazy celebrations. But unfortunately, someone took it way too far for Jose's liking. He didn't win three league titles with Chelsea to get disrespected like this. Insulting! In the end, Mauricio Sarri apologized for his assistant manager's behavior. Fair enough, but when Mario Balotelli disrespected an entire team, he didn't give a flying damn. Balotelli was part of Manchester City's team that made the trip to the United States for preseason in 2011, and the city coach Roberto Mancini decided to use the game as a test run for a couple of his first team players, including Balotelli. So when the match against LA Galaxy, Balotelli got the nod to start but let's just say he wasn't quite up for it. No way these dudes paid over $50 just to see that. Mancini took them off straight up. To be honest, Balotelli's got no reason for disrespecting the fans and LA Galaxy players with stuff like that. But when Emmanuel Adebayor went stunting on an entire team, it was for revenge. Back in 2009, Adebayor was cooking with Arsenal. His performances earned him a big money move to Manchester City, which he didn't want to accept. But when he heard the Arsenal fans mock him for even having talks with City, he got so mad that he accepted the deal. Out of anger, the Arsenal fans continued disrespecting Adebayor and even calling him names. And instead of responding, Adebayor decided to do his talking on the pitch. So once he planted a header into the bottom corner against his former team, he made sure to let them know he hadn't forgotten everything they said. That one was personal. Adebayor knew he disrespected his former club, but he didn't care. It was all about making a statement, just like it was for Ronaldo, after football's biggest organization decided to mock him. In 2013, former FIFA president Sepp Blatter was asked what the difference between Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo was, and in response, he said this. Ouch! He dissed Ronaldo with that gesture, but it was more than that. See, Blatter was supposed to be the top guy in the game, so picking a favorite and acting like this to Ronaldo was just off. Now, Ronaldo saw all this, FIFA mocking him, but he kept it all in. Because I mean, it's Ronaldo, man. He'd rather allow his game speak for him. So after scoring in his next game, Ronaldo trolled FIFA back. The commander, as always. Goat moves. Even better, Ronaldo won the Ballon d'Or months later, and Blatter had to give the award to him in person. The guy's one of the greatest ever. And it's not just because of his football skills. He's also hit that subscribe button in the goal zone. A legend.